Next on Worcester News Tonight, Governor Charlie Baker speaking out on his vaping product ban in the state. Plus, dozens rallied on the Worcester Common this morning as attorneys say thousands of Liberians are in jeopardy of losing their status and being deported. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Botari. Governor Charlie Baker standing by his recent decision to ban the sale of vaping products, despite receiving lawsuits as a result. Multiple store owners filed a lawsuit against the governor seeking to get the vaping ban overturned. Governor Baker says he's more concerned now than ever. Massachusetts reported its first vaping related death this week. Governor Baker says putting liquid in your lungs can be dangerous and the Centers for Disease Control is collecting data from all over the country on deaths and vaping related illness. He says the CDC says the damage to the lungs looks like a chemical burn. It looks like the kind of thing you would have seen if somebody um, had been in a in a place where some chemical you know, spill or explosion took place. And, uh, and I think my view on it is uh, part of the reason we, we picked four months was we were hoping that would be long enough for the federal officials and other folks in public health to give us guidance on exactly what was causing this problem so that we could put in place whatever the appropriate regulatory framework would be going forward. Other states, including Rhode Island, have also placed a temporary ban on vaping products. Massachusetts' ban will run through January 25, 2020. A Lemonster company is recognized Wednesday for being one of the leading companies for manufacturing in the state. Affordable Interior Systems makes office furniture and ships it across North America and to Mexico. Wednesday, Governor Charlie Baker visited its headquarters to present them with a proclamation while declaring October to be manufacturing month in the state. The company's board almost moved its operations out of the country, but its CEO says keeping the business in state was a priority. I was able to convince them and, and then finding this building and then working with uh, the Mayor Lemonster, uh, Dean Mazzarella, and then the state of Massachusetts, they came up with a nice incentive package to keep us here. That was critical both from a personal standpoint and to the, at that time, 350 employees and their families that were here that we did not want and I did not want to stand up in front of them and say, thanks for the job, well done, and now we're out of here. AIS has grown in employees more than 600 people in the Central Mass area. Dozens of Liberians were in federal court today, fighting for the right to continue living in the U.S. legally. Protective statuses given to them decades ago are set to be terminated in 2020. They're hoping their lawsuit against President Trump will keep them here. Our Chandler Walsh has the story. Well said. Liberians from across the country rally on Worcester Common. Go away. They're fighting to keep living and working in the U.S. legally. We said no way. Mamalu Bonge fled the war-torn country 18 years ago. I was in the military in Liberia, and I was arrested, beat on. If you can see this guy right here. He was granted asylum through the Deferred Enforced Departure, or DED, program and planted roots in Worcester. He fears he could be deported. I don't want to go back because those that, that beat me, they are still around. If I happen to go back there, I will be killed. President Trump plans to end the DED program in March 2020, terminating protections for Liberians. Attorneys representing the Liberians in a federal lawsuit against the Trump administration say about 4,000 people may face deportation. We want to hold the Trump administration accountable for their racism, which we think has played a large role in the reason why deferred and forced departure is ending. Liberia is an economic downturn after 14 years of civil war, and it recently recently experienced an Ebola outbreak. Lawrence Morris is a representative of Liberian Congress and says the country isn't stable enough for these people to return. Liberia is gearing, is, is getting on a path to being stabilized again. Now we have not had the proper infrastructure or the necessary uh, things to accommodate these people if they are thrown back home. DED holders say they have nothing in Liberia and America is their home. I contributed 
everything to this system. Everything I own, I have a home. Everything, I have family, I have friends, I have jobs. I have none of those things in Liberia. The DED program was set to expire in 2018. President Trump extended it by a year twice. In court today, the judge heard the government's arguments as well as the Liberian's attorneys. He didn't give a timeline on when his ruling will be made. In Worcester, Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight. Two popular Worcester bars could have their liquor licenses suspended for allegedly serving alcohol to minors. A sting operation found 26 minors in possession of alcohol at Union Tavern and Rock Bar last month. The Massachusetts Alcoholic Beverages Control Commission summoned both to a hearing set for Thursday. Lieutenant Sean Murtha says the operation is a result of the partnership between the state and the Worcester Police Department's Liquor Enforcement Unit. Members of our uh, Liquor Enforcement Unit work regularly with the Alcoholic Beverages Control Commission of the state. Uh, they go check area bars for compliance, making sure they're not serving underage patrons. ABCC investigators say both of the bars were over capacity when the sting occurred and the minors were between the ages of 18 and 19. Flu season is here and the state's Department of Public Health is urging people to get their flu shot as soon as possible. Our Gretchen LaRosa spoke with a local doctor today and has more. We're seeing more aggressive flu activity, so earlier in the year, more people getting sick, so that is always worrisome. Dr. George Abraham works in the Infectious Disease Department at St. Vincent Hospital. He says the best defense against the virus is the flu shot, and a common misconception is the vaccine makes people sick. It's inactivated flu vaccine, so there is no live virus in the vaccine, so no one can get sick from getting the flu shot. It is absolutely recommended even for pregnant patients and for everyone. According to the CDC, there were more than 80,000 confirmed flu-related hospitalizations in the last year. And while getting the shot does not mean you won't get sick, people like Hannah Campbell get it just to be safe. We should all be conscientious of each other's health, and I definitely think the flu shot is something people should get. It haven't done anything wrong to me. Hey, I mean, I haven't got sick from it. No, I'm strong as a horse, so go for it. Doctors say the current vaccine covers four strains of the virus. Dr. Abraham says they will review it mid-flu season to measure the vaccine success. Just the fact that it started earlier this year caught us all by surprise. We weren't expecting it. Now every pharmacy in the city offers the flu shot, and every health insurance provider is required to pay for it. In Worcester, Gretchen LaRosa, Worcester News Tonight. Worcester's mayor presents the key to the city to a popular restaurant in celebration of its years on Highland Street. Mayor Joe Petty presented the Boyne with the honor Wednesday night. It's the restaurant and bar's 50th year in business. Owner Stephen John's parents opened the spot and he's been working there for nearly 40 years, saying this is a true honor. It means a lot because I'm a Worcester kid. I grew up in Worcester and I really, uh, really appreciate it. It's, it's good to be recognized. We've, we've worked really hard to, to get to this point. Uh, great contribution to the neighborhood. He's expanded this several times. Place looks great. It's great food. It's like I was saying earlier. It's like going. It's like the TV show Cheers, and uh, everybody comes down, and knows each other. John credits their success to hard work and their comfortable, family-friendly atmosphere.